Violent Colombo family soldier Vincent Chicky Di Martino allegedly waited the best part of 10 years to be granted permission to murder mobster Joey Campi Campanella. On July the 16th, 2001, Chicky Di Martino finally had a chance to get his man. Nearly a decade after his mob superiors had vetoed his initial request to carry out a hit on his former crewmate. But why did Di Martino want to whack Campanella? And what was the aftermath of the July the 16th shooting? Let's check it out. Welcome to OC Shorts, bringing you detailed historical snapshots of the American Mafia and other organised crime. Feel free to subscribe if you like that sort of thing. Today, we're going to take a quick look at former Wild Bill Cutolo crew member Vincent Chiqui Di Martino and his near decade long wait to be granted permission to whack fellow mobster Joey Campi Campanella. Vincent Chiqui Di Martino and Joey Campi Campanella were both soldiers in the crew of powerful Colombo family captain William Wild Bill Cutolo. Joe Campanella was inducted into the Colombo crime family in December 1989 at a house in Long Island. He was sponsored into the crime family by Wild Bill Cutolo. Campanella would later recall, Cutolo told me that he's going to pass my name around and most likely he doesn't see a problem. That was about a week, week and a half later. Got back to me and he told me my name went round to the family, to other families and that there's going to be a ceremony. I had met Robert Dionfrio and Joe Legrano we had met in the neighbourhood and then we drove to Bill Cutolo's house to Long Island. Cutolo told me to go in the basement to wait till my name was called. They had called me up. I went upstairs and Bill had just pricked my trigger finger with a knife. Made some blood come out. He put a saint in my hand. He burned it and just repeated a couple of words after what he said. And that was it basically. Profess yourself to the family. Also present that day, along with Cutolo and Campanella, were acting family boss Vic Arena, Captain Joseph Scopo, and family soldiers John Arena and Victor Arena. Also inducted in that ceremony was Joseph Boundanza. Vincent Chicky Di Martino was inducted into the Colombo crime family in June 1991, and he was also sponsored by his future captain, William Wild Bill Cutolo. Campanella recalls about Di Martino's induction. It was myself, maybe like 30 or 40 guys at the club in Queens, and Bill had told me they're going to leave for about two hours and they're going to sponsor Di Martino into the family. It was him, Vic Arena, maybe about four or five captains over there, and they had left for about two hours, and Bill had come back and introduced Vincent Di Martino as a friend in the family. Around the time of Vincent Chicky Di Martino's induction, tensions were simmering in the family between acting boss Vic Arena and imprisoned official boss Carmine Persico. Vic Arena had asked family consigliere Carmine Cessa to poll the captains to see if they still stood behind Carmine Persico. Cessa polled the captains, which included Carmine Persico's brother Theodore Persico. And when Carmine Cessa later turned government witness, one of his FBI debriefing documents stated, Cessa polled Colombo LCN family captain Theodore Persico, who was upset that Arena had advocated that Carmine Persico should be removed, but told Cessa to continue polling the captains as Arena had requested. Theodore Persico resolved to contact his brother, Carmine Persico, and advise him of Arena's intentions. Cessa, apparently a very paranoid individual, would later state that he felt that he had been targeted for murder by Vic Arena, despite assurances to the contrary. In 1991, around June the 18th, Carmine Cessa attended a meeting at Romano's restaurant in Brooklyn. Peter Lance's excellent book, Deal with the Devil, states, During the meeting, Cessa said that acting underboss Joe Scopo had announced that Vincent Chicky Di Martino and James Jimmy O'Toole Spitaleri would be inducted that Friday and that Scopo would arrange to have Carmine brought to the ceremony. 
Of course he was invited, said John Arena. Carmine was conciliary, and it was natural for him to attend. But the paranoid wheels greased by Scarpa started turning in his head. He left that meeting at Romano's deciding he was going to be whacked. Sessa decided to make a preemptive strike. As Sessa later explained at Linda Vecchio's trial, I felt at that induction ceremony they were going to kill me. So we decided to kill Vicarina first. The hit on Vicarina would fail. But I found it interesting that there was a connection between Vincent Chicky Di Martino's induction and Carmine Sessa's motivation to try and murder the acting boss, which would ultimately be a key event at the start of the Third Colombo War. Wild Bill Cutolo's crew were part of the arena faction during the Colombo Civil War and were responsible for several hits and attempted hits in the conflict. Along with Chicky Di Martino and Joe Campanella, Wild Bill's crew allegedly consisted of Joseph Colombo Jr. Joseph Joe Notch Iannacci Joseph Joe Smash Gambola Salvatore Sammy Piratore Alfonso Peanuts Serratonio and Associates Michael Spatoro and Frank Frankie Notch Iannacci Chicky Di Martino is believed to have been the shooter in the murder of Persico loyalist Henry Hank the Banks Moura in November 1991. And according to Carmine Sessa, Greg Scarpa had identified Chicky Di Martino along with Frankie Notch Iannacci as two of the men who had attempted to gun him down outside his house. A shootout that could have killed Scarpa's daughter Linda and young grandson who were both present. Joe Campanella himself would survive a murder plot hatched by Persico shooters Mike Sessa, Joe Ambrosino and Carmine Inbriate. They had planned to kill Joey Campy at his home in Brooklyn in early 1992 but couldn't locate him. Anyway, the Colombo War ended in 1993 and both Chicky Di Martino and Joey Campy Campanella had survived. So, why did Vincent Di Martino want to murder his crewmate? What led to the animosity from Chicky towards Joe Campanella? According to court papers, sometime after the Colombo War, Chicky Di Martino accused Joe Campanella of having an affair with his wife from 1986 to 1991. Apparently, this was a period when Di Martino had been in prison. Chicky took his complaint to his captain, Wild Bill Cutolo, and the matter went to Alley Boy Persico, son of Carmine. Ultimately, a decision was made, and Chicky Di Martino was not granted permission to murder Joe Campanella. Chicky accepted the decision, but by all accounts, it did not sit well with him. In 1994, Wild Bill Cutolo, Chicky Di Martino, and five others were acquitted of racketeering and murder charges stemming from the Colombo War. But Chicky did end up in prison on gun charges relating to an arrest that occurred during the two-year civil war. In 1995, whilst Di Martino was in prison on the gun conviction, his sister Doreen got married. And so that Di Martino didn't completely miss out on the celebrations, Wild Bill and his crew took to the reception a life-size cardboard cutout of Chicky, as can be seen in this photo. Wild Bill Cutolo had been promoted to family underboss in 1998, and around this time, Chicky Di Martino had grown close to family captain Jackie De Ross. De Ross had been on the opposite side of the Colombo War from Di Martino, but some allege that Chicky's allegiance swayed away from Cutolo especially after Wild Bill appeared to side with Joey Campy over the complaint regarding Campanella having an affair with Di Martino's wife. In May 1999, Wild Bill Cutolo was murdered, allegedly in a plot involving Jackie De Ross and Alley Boy Persico. Before Wild Bill was killed, it is alleged that the conspirators to his downfall had approached Joey Campanella to take out his former captain. But Joey Campy declined the opportunity. Fast forward two years 
and now it was Joe Campanella who was marked for death. Jackie DeRoss hadn't forgotten Campanella refusing to assist in the Cutolo killing and knew that Joey Campi had opposed the decision to whack his old friend. DeRoss had been indicted on racketeering charges and had been recorded on a wire angrily stating that he intended to take everything from Campanella. Knowing that Campanella would eventually hear the tapes, Jackie DeRoss worried that Joey Campi could potentially cooperate with the authorities. DeRoss would then reach out to a man he knew was desperate to kill Joe Campanella, Chicky DiMartino. And so, after the best part of a decade waiting, Chicky DiMartino now had permission to kill the man that he believed had had an affair with his wife. On July the 16th, 2001, Joe Campanella had been on the beach in Coney Island sunning himself and was then walking along West 32nd Street. Approaching him from behind in a green van was Giovanni John the Barber Floridia, who was driving, and Chicky Di Martino, who was in the passenger seat. Campanella would later recall that he heard someone yell out his name, and as he turned, he saw Chicky Di Martino firing at him out of the passenger side window. He managed to raise an arm which was hit by a bullet, but the act had stopped him taking a shot to the head. He was also hit in the foot. Unsurprisingly, the failed hit did in fact lead to Joe Campanella becoming a government witness. Joey Campanella was able to provide information to the FBI that Di Martino and John the Barber Floridia had been involved. And so, Chicky Di Martino and John the Barber Floridia were indicted on charges of racketeering and attempted murder. And eventually, John the Barber himself would also agree to cooperate. John the Barber would later recall the events of the shooting and how Chicky Di Martino had yelled out Campanella's name. He stated, Well, see, that's the whole part of Chicky that makes him, you know, a nut job. He wanted Joe to actually look at him when he shot him. He wanted him to see that he was shooting him because he could have easily shot him, you know, from his back and he would have never known. He probably would have been dead. Chicky Di Martino was ultimately sentenced to 25 years in prison in 2004. His projected release date is July the 14th, 2024. I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching.